is the next Assassin's Creed game. Um, which a lot of rumors have been speculated over the past. Like there were like some things going around like the web ba ye back in the day. This was kind of like before the recent Assassin's Creed games like Mirage, I think that was it, and Odyssey or even like Origins and stuff like that. Um, but fans have been wanting to have like a Assassin's Creed game based on like, you know, the Chinese mythos or the Chinese era. Actually, like, got that now. Uh, there have been rumors and leaks that like, you know, the next Assassin's Creed would be like something from Japan. And we actually got that. And so, why am I like talking about this now? Even though like, I never like covered uh, Assassin's Creed, maybe for like a bit, but <clears throat> Truth be told, homies, I was a big Assassin's Creed guy uh, back in the day. Um, my my first introduction to Assassin's Creed was the critically acclaimed Assassin's Creed 2. I didn't try out one. I was a little bit weirded out with like one, but I fell in love with two after like my first uh, intro to the game, which was like the the Ezio, like, Ezio Auditore origins of, like, Italy. And I was so, like, this was kind of, like, one of those games where I was, like, immersed with, like, the world, and this was, like, me, um, getting into history. And I was, like, super big into, like, learning history, and this was, like, you know, a good introduction, because Assassin's Creed's are, like, you know, stealthy slash action games but their core is mostly about like stealth and their uh their advertisements well their ads like um marketing campaigns are like you get to play as like a stealthy assassin and you get to be in like in the time period piece of those assassins like fictional assassins like origins so we would have like italy um constantinople uh, France during the French Revolution, uh, dreary London, uh, Rome, Greece, Egypt, so many like places that that's the Ubisoft Assassin's Creed like uh, tagline is that we're gonna submerge you into these like histor historical worlds of from actual like documentation and you get to be a cool like assassin meeting up with historical figures and stuff. I was super big into that, right? But then I fell off from Assassin's Creed. I think it was like during the PS4 era when they were pumping out Unity. Uh, and that was the French Revolution one. And Allah knows uh, the troubles that Unity had to like go through with like some of the jank like uh, glitches and like the story getting kind of weak, getting kind of like loosey goosey, at least in terms of the real world. <laughs> because in Assassin's Creed, there's like a uh, historical world, and then there's like the real world events, the historical plot and the real world plot, and they somehow like coalesce. And it's all like the real world events try to prevent a sort of like cataclysm that's gonna happen in the year 20XX. And that's what I remember from Assassin's Creed. Um, because of course, at that time around like the Unity era, I still like played Syndicate. But then I like stopped after Syndicate because I was like, you know what? I'm kind of like done with Assassin's Creed games. Um, my only like two Ass Creed games that I really love and adored like to this day are two which was Ezio Auditori, and 4, which was Edward Kenway, uh, the pirate game. And I loved those games to like death. I would go on like multiple playthroughs just to like be enamored again. And what made like Assassin's Creed, like Assassin's Creed for me, you know, just the uh, personality, the joy, like the vibes that it gives off, you know? Um, I heard a lot of people praise uh, Odyssey and Origins, 
even though it's like a, a new different mechanic, even though they're different mechanics gameplay wise than the previous games, but they are like pretty good. I just haven't played them. And there are only like a few things that will get me back to being like an Assassin's Creed fan would be that either there would be like a Ghost of Tsushima in Ghost of Tsushima style Assassin's Creed game or an Assassin's Creed 2 slash Assassin's Creed 4 remake. Not a remaster, but a remake. I would be super down if Ubisoft would do like a a just like restart the timeline and then remake things back from like Assassin's Creed 1 and then continue all the way up to like Assassin's Creed like 2. I would be like super happy about that. Um Hell, like again, like I was a big Assassin's Creed fan. I had like two shirts. I would be I got like all of the Assassin's Creed like Ezio collections right here. Let me show off like my shirts. Like I think I have like I have a few shirts. That's right. I have like three shirts, which was like this one. Uh, I have like a gray like custom one I did back in back when my dad was alive. It was like a custom like shirt I found on the internet and I found like a stall where they could like custom like print this look off of like an internet and then of course Assassin's Creed Black Flag so I was super big into the Assassin's Creed uh, series back then but it was uh, hinted by Ubisoft that they were going to do an Assassin's Creed Shadows trailer which would be like set in like Chinese or Japanese time and so let's see I wonder if they're actually teaming up with Yasuke. It would be a damn weird team up with a ninja. Who do you serve? Who do you serve? All I have ever known in my life, I will end. Our customs, my family. Burns in the name of unification. All right, hold on. Uh, there's an ad in progress. We're gonna wait for that. We're gonna wait for that ad, boy. <sighs> All right, it looks like ad break is over. Okay, cool. nothing on the sea the oceans fill with new ships but they all come from the same river oh greed oh it is you're right power oh damn vengeance And you, will you continue down that river? Or choose another path beyond what we see? Then we must look for it together. We must learn to trust, rebuild. 
and follow the blade. Actually, another like trailer I didn't I didn't see. Who are what? Um, who meet na meet Nao and Yasuke? Okay, uh, let me get to that, please. You fight you fight him in Neo Two for axe training. I think I remember like a playthrough of that. I think it was like Max Dude was playing Neo Two and he fights like Nobunaga. Yeah, yeah, he does. Oh yeah, slight like memories coming back. Let me see like this like next trailer then. With our dual oh, protagonist, we have you meant two Yasuke. Friends. Okay, he has a gold axe, gold axe gear early in the game. Ooh, okay. All right. Um. Damn, bro. Damn, bro, this YouTube, like, uh, slow down and shit. We're dealing with it, bit by bit. Oh, for Yasuke. I thought, like, Nobunaga. My bad. A er, uh, good axe gear early in the game. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. With our dual protagonist, we have two fantasy, the samurai and the shinobi. We want the player to experience both, and we cannot squeeze both fantasy into one character because the samurai and shinobi came from a different social class. They have different lives, so we cannot really uh, mix uh, them together. The historical character of Yasuke presented a really exciting opportunity for the narrative team. We approached it in the same way that uh, so much of the work is done in Assassin's Creed, which is really in terms of research and history first. Not a lot is known about him, but what we did know, or we do know, is that he arrived in Japan in 1579, right when our game starts and that he had relationships with some of the most interesting people in our setting, like Oda Nobunaga, the Portuguese, and Jesuits, which made it very ah. sort of tantalizing and enticing. Uh, they're really the pulling out of their asses for that. In and, ...and start weaving these facts with story in between. The more we read about the character, the more he was inspiring for us. He's a foreigner discovering Japan and we, we thought it's the perfect fit because he's discovering Japan and you are discovering Japan also. And on the flip side, we have Nawe who comes uh, from the province of Iga, which is a, a remote uh, mountainous area, fiercely independent, uh, known as the birthplace of Shinobi. So they're very contrasting oh. perspectives that really expose a lot of different sides uh, and facets of the era. When Oda came, uh, he completely destroyed Iga. We have Yasuke and Oda that coming to destroy the Shinobi. So it can kind of create Where this, this interesting <laughs> tension between two characters. We were able to connect her to uh, the province of Iga and the legendary Igan Shinobi historical figure, Fujibayashi Nagato, who's her, who's her father in the game. Fujibayashi so Nagato. Why she is, has the skills that she has and the values that she learns from her father in the people of Iga, which are valor, benevolence, and, and wisdom. And as a young person, still at the start of the game, we get to see now we acquire even more of that wisdom as the story unfolds. And mm. if you ask anybody, it's super clear that Samurai will be combat heavy and a Shinobi will be stealth heavy. 
it creates this distinction right away. Yasuke uh, can fight with all his advantage, uh, his stature, like he's, he's a big guy, he can break door, he can fight multiple enemies, he can break <laughs> armor. Compared to Naoi, like her character and their, their outfit, it's, it's really about being stealth, being unseen. She's the only one with the Eden Blades. Right, so of course. They have clear advantage that put them into the, the stealth and the combat, even if they can do a, a bit of both. They're a really great pair together because on one side uh, we have Nawe, who's very intense and passionate and, and determined woman who is very set on her goals. She's kind of got her heart what on makes her no sense. and she'll say what she feels in the heat of the moment and this intensity uh, that she brings as a shinobi but that she also brings to her relationship. And this balances very well with Yatsuke who is sort of a, a thoughtful level head to Nawe's fiery passion. We really thought about somebody like Yasuke, historically, who was able to come to Japan and have the life that he did there to enter service for Oda Nobunaga and achieve all of the things that he did. Like, what kind of person would go through all of this? So our Yasuke is very uh, intelligent, thoughtful, and respectful of this culture that he encounters. He's and a that weeb. makes him a very nice sort of counterpart to Nawe. He's a bit mysterious as well, and that's something we get to see unfold as the game progresses. Ah, uh, I mean, hmm. Well, a lot of people have been like dissing on this new like trailer. I will say that like first and foremost. Honestly though, well, we can't really like make any like introspections on like the matter as far as like gameplay goes lore wise and historical wise i mean eh. like i said like i fell off of assassin's creed after like syndicate yeah and they're just like pulling it out of their own ass they've been pulling like their own asses for like a long time and this was like i think even before syndicate I remember like there was a fan panel talk uh, for Nolan North, the guy who does Ezio Altatore in Assassin's Creed 2 and onward. And I think he, there was a time when he was once asked by an Assassin's Creed fan that Ubisoft was or he thought that Ubisoft would end at Assassin's Creed 2 and then they would dive right into 3. But then Ubisoft kind of told Norlin Norse that, yeah, uh, Ubisoft changed plans and because of the sales and the popularity of 2, that they made like two like spin-off sequels for Ezio and then made 3 on the PS3. So yeah, they they've been like going off the rails with their like um oh no not Etsy Auditore that was uh Roger Craig Smith Nolan North does Desmond Miles yeah in the real world story of Assassin's Creed that's right that was it yeah because Desmond was like the uh quote-unquote chosen one protagonist since like Assassin's Creed 1 and then he like sacrificed himself at the end of three and that's when like abstergo like the company that the assassins like in the modern realm fight against uh take his body and then like dissect him for like genetic information and so it's been kind of weird with assassins creed it's it, like i don't know where the fuck they're going with the story and in that and at that point in juncture for me as an assassin's creed fan i was like i don't give a damn i just like fell off i don't know what the fuck they're like doing they just like once again they keep like pumping out assassin's creed after assassin's creed uh every one or two years and they're just like connecting it through some sort of like means and I'm just like oh my god brother can they just like you know stop I'm not even sure that like Assassin's Creed like for Ubisoft is their popular ass title I'll have to like look at their like sales and see 
overall, I think like Shadows is okay. I think, but my thing is like, I think they're late in the game when it comes to like, you know, the, uh, the samurai ninja missos of Japan. Um, yeah, I think they're like late in the game for that one because we had like a, a renaissance of that like three or four years ago with like Sekiro, Neo, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. There were so many like samurai games like in one particular year and they're still going strong like now to this day. I don't know how well did Rise of the Ronin do, <laughs> but it's still going strong. But I feel like Assassin's Creed Shadows should have like come out like during like that time when the culture was super obsessed with like samurai ninja shit in video games. Um, and of course, right, this is like a full cinematic trailer and we watch like a behind the scenes of like the uh, characters. A behind the scenes of the characters talking about the Assassin's Creed game. So we can't really infer anything off of like gameplay wise other than just like story or historical like nods. Um, but I don't know if I'll try it though, right? I don't know if I'll like I'll try it. I was like not not uh, down to try like Mirage, whatever their latest game was, but maybe I'd be down with like Shadows, something like that. It would have to like really like impress me like gameplay wise. If I see like some Ghost of Tsushima shit that I'll probably like get it. As far as like story concerns as what the homies uh been chatting about. Yeah, they're, they're like pulling it out of like their own ass. I don't know where the fuck are they doing? Are they at in like in the modern like time? Um, whatever their historical era references like are it. They could also be just like pull it. Well, they also like pull it out of like their own ass. Ubisoft game set in Italy plays Italian man, French man, Native American man, Greek man, Norse man. They are saying the part out loud. Game set in Japan. <laughs> The fuck? People are saying that like they don't like like the new character like Yasuke or nor do they like the uh, um the new female lead because of the aforementioned things like Oh Yasuke is like a like a black man uh leading or uh the now is like a female like assassin we want like our guy in there or something like that you know Ubisoft I'm already seeing arguments. What the fuck? There weren't black people in feudal Japan. Yasuke wasn't a samurai. He was a handler for... <laughs> Jeez, man.